hello everyone and welcome to class today our topic is oxygen 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 is the most abundant element on the earth's surface and it also occurs in nature both in free and combined states as human beings we actually know that hydrogen uh, we should know that oxygen is the most abundant element on the earth because we actually breathe out we breathe in rather we breathe in oxygen so and the plants breathe out oxygen for us to breathe it in so what is the laboratory preparation of oxygen how can oxygen be prepared in the lab oxygen is usually prepared in the lab by the decomposition of potassium triazochlorate 5 and that of hydrogen peroxide the composition meaning that the breaking down of uh, potassium triazochlorate 5 under in the presence of it so it gives us potassium chloride and also oxygen gas the same with hydrogen peroxide which gives us water and oxygen gas industrial preparation how do we prepare oxygen in the lab so in places where a cheap source of electricity is available oxygen may be prepared industrially by the electrolysis of water however in most places it is prepared by the fractional distillation of liquid air fractional distillation is a separation technique in chemistry and it is used to separate mixture and you know that air is a mixture containing several gases so one of the ways that industries produce oxygen is to um, use fractional distillation of the liquid air and the process involves two main process and the preparation involves two main process which is the liquefaction of water and the fractional distillation of the resultant liquid air what are the physical properties of oxygen Oxygen is a diatomic gas which is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. It is also neutral to most to moist litmus paper. It is slightly soluble in water and it is denser than air. All right. Chemical properties of oxygen. Oxygen is a non-metallic element periodic belonging to the group six elements in the periodic table. The oxygen atom has six valence electrons. Six valence electrons meaning that it has six electrons in its atom shell. So now you note that oxygen will need two electrons to complete or to acquire an octet electronic configuration. And to it will acquire that from um, metals that have two valence electrons in the atom shell because they are readily available to give out the two electrons. And um, oxygen can also undergo co covalent formation that's by sharing electron with other elements number one oxygen reacts with metals to form basic oxide we have oxygen reacting with metals to form basic oxide which in turn react with extra water or excess water to form uh, potassium hydroxide so look at this example we have four molecules of potassium re reacting with oxygen okay so this gave us potassium oxide this will further react if you you subject the potassium oxide to more water then we'll have potassium hydroxide then oxygen also reacts with non metals to form acidic oxide which is known as acid and anhydride. This acid anhydride will also dissolve in water to form acid. An example is that of carbon. Carbon reacts with oxygen to give us carbon four oxide. Then carbon four oxide in turn reacts with water to give us hydrogen triazocarbonate for acid. Okay, so reaction with compounds. Many um, compounds react with oxygen, most hydrocarbons, carbon, hydrogen, but oxygen to form carbon four oxide and water. And the reactions of oxygen with elements and compounds are example of oxidation reaction. And a typical a typical example is the rusting of iron. Notice that when you leave your iron out for a long time, or metals or blades begins to rust, that's because it has gone undergone oxidation process. And now it tests for oxygen. 
you just insert a glowing splinter into a test tube containing the onogas. The rekindling of the glowing splinter indicates the presence of oxygen. So what are the uses of oxygen? Oxygen is required for respiration. I told you that earlier that as human beings we need oxygen for respiration. It is used in breathing apparatus by people who have to be in surroundings that do not contain enough air for breathing. A example is divers in the sea. You see them put on that tube in their um, on their nose to breathe in oxygen. Or astronauts in space, or mountaineers and pilots at high altitude, at high height, and also people with lung disease and injuries that have difficulty in breathing. The normal ordinary hair are kept in oxygen tanks, or they are given an um, oxygen tank. Then also, during surgical operation, a mixture of anesthetic and oxygen is given to the patient. The anesthetics makes the person unconscious while the oxygen keeps him alive. Oxygen is also used in the manufacture of important acid. Liquid oxygen and falls are used as propellants for space rocket and oxygen is used in the steel industry for removal of impurities from pig iron all right so let's come to the end of this class let's move to summary oxygen is the most abundant element on earth oxygen has an atomic number of eight and six valence electron oxygen will rekindle a glowing splinter this is also a common test for oxygen all right so i have some assignments here for you with the use of chemical equation how sulfur reacts with oxygen to yield tetra ozosulfate 6 acid thank you and we've come to the end of today's class